Hey guys, Grasson here. So, um, uh, this is a hard one to explain. Okay, let's get this out of the way by saying YouTube recommended this ad. Okay? YouTube had this ad as one of their ads, and thus, it's perfectly reasonable if I play this game and YouTube doesn't get mad at me. Second, this might just be porn. So, YouTube recommended this game in a weird way, and I ignore that. I think y'all know what way this is. So we are going to see what happens um, when you play a game advertised by YouTube that is really not safe for YouTube. Here we go. Who's taking me so damn early in the morning? So groggy from the rude awakening, a crap will open my eyes and phone. Do we give someone the toad voice? It's Nanami. I believe these are Japanese names as well. Let's turn the volume down a bit. Figures. Okay, so I'm John. John, there's a special limited time soda on sale today. Go to the store before school and pick up five of them, okay? Nanami. Nanami is the leader of my friend group. Friend group, though, so I can't exactly say no. I roll my eyes and fumble out quickly. A quick reply before crawling out of bed. It says, showered and dressed, I head downstairs. You shower in the morning? How early do you wake up? I wake up at 5 a.m. and I barely have time to shower. But I don't shower. The convenience store is kind of out of the way. Better skip breakfast if I don't make any time. That's not good. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. You can't skip breakfast. You're not going to wake up right. I should the store nearest to my house. The store nearest to my house, even though it's, it's in the completely opposite direction of school. That's not as super smart. Only two left already? Crap. Nanami's gonna kill me if I don't get them all. Well, just go over to another store. You have to go to another store. Yeah, that's what I said! Put a long sigh and shake my head. I'm going to be so late to school. Buying the last two so two drinks in stock, I head quickly down the stairs. I'm gonna find another store nearby. I'm gonna spot my childhood friend, Chikako, leaving her house. Hey, Chika. It's gonna turn into like some Five Nights at Freddy's like fan fiction. John, hello. She rushes at me, big smile on her face. What are you doing here? Is there actual gameplay, or is it literally just like a story? It's been- it's only been three minutes. How many attempts do we give this game? If it doesn't give us gameplay in the first 20 minutes, do we just not come back? I was just closer to school than mine. Your first choice. Oh. So it- so there is gameplay. It's just- we get to choose. So what's that in her head? That's Roman numerals for eight. Why eight? Why eight? Or is it a coincidence? It's gotta be eight, right? What's the symbolism of eight with this character? Um, order from Na Nanami. Send me a mission looking for these special drinks. A bag with the two sodas I bought. Next is early in the morning, they must be really special. Sure hope so. The story went the only other two left. Five. If you don't get enough, she'll throw a fit. Why do you find it funny? You're never on the receiving end of then. How about this? I'll help you look. There's another store just down the road. You might have some more. You don't do that. Nonsense. No sense in both of us being late for school, right? Ah, oh, come on. Kind of find why to be if I abandoned like that. Let's go. Leading the way to the convenience store. So there's a whole row of sodas left. Snatch them up while... Chicago. I, these, I can't pronounce these names. Carries a shopping basket weighted down with junk food to the counter enemy. Classic Chica. She's already been caught snacking class three times this semester alone. With five sodas in hand, we're finally able to start off towards school. Definitely gonna be late, though. It's very last time I have to run errands for Nanami before school. Try getting into, getting into trouble for a sake. This is such a... Is anything gonna happen? I think that's nice of you, John. I don't want to read a book. I want to play a game. Takes a really good friend to do so many favors for someone like this. I guess so. We push for a short while and I guess my she just come in and I knew that I'd tie them back up. When I finish, she's nowhere to be seen. How was that girl so fast? I'm not nearly as fast as her, but jeez. Oh, she really couldn't wait to go away from you, huh? Who's this? Pretty much what I expect from a dork like you. Oh no. Turn to see the exact person I'm dreading. Matsub Matsubara? Matsubara? 
Oh no, Matsubara's high. Matsubara High's most feared bully. So that's the name of the school. Oh, re game. Echi Uzaki. Huh? What are you gawking at? Crosses his arms, lips curling in a sneer. Despite being a little shorter than me, Echi still manages to be incredibly intimidating. Just walk away. What should I do? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I did say... I did just say walk away, but it would be, like, kind of impolite. Fine. Okay, not like that, you moron. Not like that. If you if you got nothing confident to say, don't say anything confident. Or don't say anything stupid. Don't, like, just say, just say you're just heading to school, and then walk away. Fuck are you doing, man? Just surprising, that's all. She clicks her, clicks her tongue? Stop staring before I bash your face in. Buggy ice cream out. Sorry. Why so nervous? Why are you stuttering? Just leave! A virgin like you can't handle being around a girl that... I didn't read the word. <laughs> I have my mouth to respond, but nothing comes out. Seeing this, she bursts out laughing and slapped me roughly on the back. What a loser. I'm gonna crap out of here before I catch, you, catch your loser germs. It's not even really bullying. Like, she's just like... Making fun of you casually. She walks off down a nearby alley. Running from embarrassment, I try to push her words aside and run down the street to catch up there. Okay, if if while you were tying your shoe, you managed to lose her already, there's no way you're catching up with after that whole conversation. So now we get to class late. Teacher, teacher's back is turned. Her and I slip it um, over to our desk, trying not to make a sound. I don't know why I'm able to read today. I can read now. I can't. I couldn't read earlier. Right beside us, our quiet classmate Aya tries to sneak into the room at the same time. The plan is immediately foiled when Edgy slides the door open loudly seconds later. You're both late. Sorry, sir. She only scoffs... Desirably? I, I should probably, like, take my time and read these, but... I want to get to the game. Is is there a game? And don't think I didn't see you come in, John. Ah, oh, yeah, they got it. He got us. You four stay back after class. I'd like a word. Now then. Turns, turns back to the blackboard. Chicago and I exchange a hopeless smile and shrug. Oh well, we tried. Into the bell rings, signaling break. Students split up into their usual groups. Etchy, Etchy's crony. Etchy? I think it's Etchy. Etchy's cronies crowding around her desk. Meanwhile, Nanami walks over to mine. Hey John, who's this? Did you get those drinks I asked for? Oh yeah, this is the person. Small side, I pick up the bag with sodas and sit at my desk. Um, here they are. They're selling out pretty fast, but I got them. Nice. Honestly, I have expected you to screw up. Ow. I'm gonna take a bag and finish, finishes out a can of soda. She holds up for a moment as if expecting the quality. And she makes a beeline for Edgy's desk. An eager smile on her face. Edgy, Edgy, got you something on his limited time instead of flavors with a movie movie tie-in. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Narr narr Edgy's eyes narrow as she scans as she scans the can. She's emblazoned with an image of a character from a popular manga. After a moment, she leans back in her seat with a char characteristic scoff. And why would I give a crap about that? And she lets her hand roll lazily to the side, and she waves a dismissive hand towards Nami. Nami. Just leave it, leave it here and go away. Nami bows her head like a medieval servant before setting the drink down and backing away. That moment, she blocks the view f flopping down beside my desk. I'm just going to say she, because I can't pronounce these names. It's so weird seeing Nami act like that around Itchy. Well, let's say she do a couple of them, I guess. So bossy with us. I suppose even after Nami, I'm afraid of Etchy to some degree. That's why we have to stick together, right? We're caught by ourselves. Sh shut the fuck. Where the fuck is the teacher? I thought we were, like, staying back. Does he want to talk to us? I just wandered towards the corner of the room where Ayana Aya is sitting with her head buried deep in the notebook. From the look of it, she seemed to be drawing. You have to tell me. She was a quiet side before leaning her head on my desk. It reminds me. I'm going to the gym this weekend. Do you want to come? I'm cutting my gaming time? No thanks. Oh, come on. It's good for you. You've been so weirdly into fitness ever since we started high school. Then, But when I work out, all I get is immense pain and suffering. That's the point. It's only at the beginning, I swear. It gets better later. Pass. Pout their cheeks, puffing up. Pet petulantly! Fine. Don't come crying to you and eat a big belly. This is a girl with a bag full of snacks. 
Where's the energy? Right, of course. Shut the fuck. Where the fuck is the teacher? As soon as school is over, Chikako, Eya, Echi, and I are herded into the meeting room down the hall. How just wanted us to stay back. Scan down the school in time, you'll have to stay back late. When you organize and prepare these worksheets for the upcoming week's lessons. Once you're done, you're free to leave. Where's a glance at Echi? By the way, you won't find any test sheets here. In here, so don't cheat. Cheat with, so don't bother looking. He doesn't even acknowledge him, staring blankly at the wall. Alright, now pay attention. Here's how I want the worksheets arranged. Teacher spends several minutes doing us our task before leaving the room alone. I have a feeling we're not going to be organizing worksheets then, are we? Well, we better get started. Ready for two minutes when Edgy lets it a grunt and gets out of her chair. Screw this, yeah. This is the plot of Jumanji. This is, this is literally the plot of Jumanji. What? It, it's... Huh? You're just gonna do this crap. I'm getting out of here. It's the, it's the plot of Jumanji. Kisses chair and turns to leave. What should I do? Let her leave. So today to let her dumb the work on us. Just too much we can stop her. Well, just... D here's what you gotta do. You do your... You do a quarter. Er everyone does one quarter, and you leave the last quarter. And then you gotta tell your teacher, Uh, yeah, we all did our quarter, and Etchy left. Just... Or, you know... Or don't even. We did our... We did our quarters. You know? Separate your three quarters, and... Do three quarters of the work and then leave the rest and just let her get in trouble. Let me ask her to stay and help and try it if you like. Seeming to reconsider, closing her mouth with a snap. I don't blame her. After all, none of us wants to incur a bully's wrath. But she's just some. Who gives a crap? She's just some person. Without another word, Edgy steps at the door and leaves. Like she was just playfully mocking. She's not really a bully. Looking alongside before struggling, I look around at Chico and never saw that to Aya. Honestly, it's probably the best. Being stuck in a room with her for god knows how long would have been terrifying. You know, kidding. Just looking at these worksheets, yeah. Maybe stuck here for a while. Allison's I have nothing better to do. I want, want to make a contest out of it? Smirk a little anticipation. I'm just even get, the more, get more done, hell yeah. We lead. Er, her and I start working as fast as possible. The sound of wrestling papers and furious stapling filters the room. It's. It's just. It's the plot of Jumanji! Well. The blood Jumanji, I guess, by this point, I got sucked into Jumanji, so we're we're actually deviating slightly now. Across the table, Aya quietly continues on her own work, own work glancing over at us every once in a while. We're starting to fall behind when Chicago's phone goes off. Oh, damn it. I totally forgot about some family stuff today. I have to go, but looks guilty to the paper remaining. Go ahead. I handle it. Are you sure? I'm sure. I don't think I was going to win anyway. Got some crazy nimble fingers. Face lights up and grin. So what, do, so what do I win? You're already getting to leave early. Don't get greedy. She laughs, gathering up her things. Thank you so much, Nun. I got to you, right? We were off. Friends, right? Catch you later. Bye. The only unrealistic part is that a male is friends with females. Like, honestly. Well, if, well, seeing as I'm in Canada, the fact that there's any sense of a bully is also pretty unrealistic, gotta be honest. That's kind of a rare sight up here. With Chicago gone, I find myself suddenly noticing Aya's presence again. She's quiet, I almost forgot she was there. Now it's just the two of us in silence. The silence is starting to feel a little awkward. So I have to clear my throat and reach for the stapler. After about 30 minutes of silent work, I, take, I can't take any more. I should say something, right? But I've never talked to this girl before. How long have you been working? If that's been in another 30 minutes, they must have already been... How, how, how many hours have they been here for? Is this legal? What should I say? Uh Well, what are your objectives here, man? The best idea would be to start with the work, and then transition into something else. Once the con- Best to start a conversation? Best to start a conversation with something relevant to the current moment that is non- Suspicious? Then transfer something else. Um, but we're stupid and we'll find a way to fuck it up to talk about her. So, how are you? Oh, there, there, yeah, that works too. That works, that's a good start. How are you, Aya? Is it Aya, right? Aya practically finishes at the sound of her name, responding to my question with a stiff nod. I I'm okay. Good. Well, that went nowhere. A quiet sigh, a sense falls over us again. This is going to take forever. You know, since the others bailed, I could probably get away with fudging the numbers a little. 
You could just say that we miscount the number of sheets or something. What do you think? It doesn't respond to continuing work without a reaction. So is that a no? She looks up suddenly expressionless. If you'd like to leave, you can. I'll finish the work myself. Oh jeez. Made me feel bad. She made quite quietly settling back and resuming my work. Hmm. Sun's already setting by the time we finally get through all the piles of paper. Yeah, this can't be legal, right? What are the laws on this in Japan? All that's left on the table is a single stack of carefully stapled worksheets. Finally. There goes all my gaming time. At least I get to go home. We have the guy today who is completely still in her chair. Don't let she's waiting for me to leave first. Hmm. She's a little creepy. Gather my stuff and slip at the door at home. Look back through the window. You gotta watch what she's doing. So I walk down the hall. I glance back in the room and see Ada finally getting up to leave. Then the six and gazes, or gazes locked together through the glass. Good boy, you looked back through the window. Well done. Her eyes go wide and she freezes like a deer in headlights. A little spooked by her intense stare, I hurry out and order out of sight. Well, that was a waste of time. After that dinner, I feel gratified when I realize I still have an hour left over for some gaming. Just sitting in my room playing a few rounds of my favorite fighting game, the phone starts to ring. I'm in the middle of an online match, so I let it go to voicemail. Here you go, you pick up your phone. I see you're online, you know. Roll my eyes and pick up my phone. Wedging it beneath my ear and continue holding my controller. Put it on, put it on, um, speaker. Finally. Are you getting your butt kicked? I wasn't until you made me answer the phone. Snickers. Serves you right. I just wanted to let you know to thank you again for letting me take off your ear. Take you off? Take off our ear. Don't worry about it. Wait, isn't this the... No. No, this is the girl with the Roman numerals in her hair. Right, that was, that was just the person we met. I thought that was a boy, sorry. Took a while, but we got done in the end. We? Alright. I almost forgot about Aya. She was quiet for a second or two. That must be weird, just the two of you. Was it weird? Huh? You know what I mean. You didn't... What did you do? get up to? Huh? Crap. I went her confused, and just enough time for my opponent to land a huge combo on me taking me down. Shake my head as you lose flash across the screen. What are you talking about, Chica? Or Chi... Chica? Yeah. We don't the work she says... Right, of course. Forgot I asked. Forgot I asked. I'll talk to you more, okay? Bye. That's that's suspicious. Just like how she hangs up. Drop my phone in the lap. My lap, staring down with a frown. Uh, what the hell is that about? Yeah, he realizes. The fuck is this game about? Where is the gameplay? You know, the game's called Dating My High School Bully. Like, you know, there seems. You know, most dating games would imply that there's, like, an option here. Although, there's quite clearly been made one option. Right? Like, there's four people. But, the game's making it quite clear as to what's gonna happen. End of the next episode. Restart the episode. End of the episode. Restart the episode. Try their choices or continue the next episode. Is this, like, a pay-for-it game? Okay, well, this is where I'll end it. I don't know how this works, but okay. Um, anyway. Next time, I guess, we'll get to figure out... This game doesn't have gameplay, does it? It's just a story with a few simple choices here and there. Well, um... Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see more of this. It's just kind of like a story game, and it seems like it's going to leave us with like a, hef a cliffhanger or something. It seems like we might be able to go for like four episodes for free or something. And then it's gonna give us the cliffhanger. So, let me know if you're interested in that, or if you just want to, like, end here. But, whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. This is a, not, this is a weird not game. Bye, guys.